In this video, we're going to look at an alternative method for solving equations with algebraic fractions. This method is particularly useful for the more complex ones, the ones with two or more algebraic fractions within the equation. But before we look at that, let's just remind ourselves, if we have something like 2x over 3, then what we can do is multiply that by 3, and we just get left with 2x. So if we multiply a fraction by its denominator, we just get left with the numerator. And that works, because if we were to think of it as 3 over 1, we could then cancel the 3 and the 3 on the bottom and top, and we get left with 2x. And that's going to be an important fact that we use in this method. So in this method, in this alternative method, we're going to multiply through by each denominator in turn, removing each of the algebraic fractions in turn as well. Doing it this way, we have to multiply every term by each denominator. So let's look at a couple of examples. The first example is x plus 3 over 3 minus x minus 4 over 5 equals 3. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to start by multiplying by the first denominator, which is 3. So we have to multiply everything by 3 on the left and on the right. So the first term, when we multiply that by 3, we just lose the denominator, so we get left with x plus 3. That's because of that rule we looked at at the beginning. The second term, we're going to multiply by 3, and when you multiply a fraction by a whole number, you multiply the top. So we get 3x minus 4, and we've still got over 5, and on this side we get 9. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to multiply by the 5, which is the second of the denominators. So we multiply by 5 this time, we multiply by 5 on this side too, and this time 5x plus 3 multiplied by 5 gives us 5 brackets x plus 3 minus the second fraction multiplied by 5 we just lose the denominator so we get left with 3 brackets x minus 4 and on this side we get 45. Now we have an equation that we can expand and solve so we get 5x plus 15 minus 3x plus 12 and then that can be simplified, oh sorry, equals 45, and then that can be simplified to 2x plus 27 equals 45. So 2x equals 18 and x equals 9. So all we did there was rather than combining the two fractions, we multiplied by each denominator in turn. This is particularly useful for examples where the two fractions are on either side of an equal sign. So in this example we're going to do the same thing. First of all, we're going to multiply by 7 to get rid of this denominator. So we multiply this side by 7, we're going to multiply this side by 7. And what that gives us is on the left hand side we just lose the denominator so we get 3 brackets x minus 3 and on the right hand side when we multiply the 2 by 7 we get 14 2x plus 5 still over 5 and now we do the same on the other side we're going to multiply by the 5 to get rid of that denominator so we multiply both sides by 5 and this time, when we multiply the left-hand side by 5, when we multiply the 3 by 5, we get 15x minus 3 equals 14, 2x plus 5. And now we expand, 15x minus 45 equals 28x plus 70. Move the x's to one side, we get 45 equals... 13x plus 70. Subtract the 70, we get minus 115 equals 13x. 
and finally we get x equals minus 115 over 13 as our final answer. The final example has three terms in it, but we're going to do exactly the same thing, apart from we're going to have to multiply by all three denominators. So first of all, we're going to get rid of the 2 by multiplying everything by 2. And this is everything by 2. So the first term, when we multiply that by 2, we just get 3y minus 4, because the 2's cancel. The second term, we get 2 brackets 2y plus 1 over 5. And on the other side of the equal sign, we get 2, 1 minus y over 3. Now we do the next one, we're going to get rid of the 5, so we multiply everything by 5. And we get 5, 3y minus 4 minus 2, 2y plus 1 equals, and 2 times 5 gives us 10, 1 minus y, and that one is still over 3. And finally we get rid of that denominator by multiplying by 3 throughout the equation, and this time we get 15, 3y minus 4 minus 3 times 2 is 6, 2y plus 1, equal to 10, 1 minus y on this side. And the 3s again cancel out, removing that last fraction. Now we just expand everything, and we get 15 times 3y is 45y, and then minus 60, minus 12y, minus 6 equals 10 minus 10y and then we just need to simplify this up before we can solve it so 45y minus 12y is 33y minus 66 equals 10 minus 10y and then Pulling over the minus 10y, adding that to both sides, we get 43y minus 66 equals 10. Adding the 66 gives us 43y equals 76. And finally, y equals 76 over 43 as our final answer. It's just a slightly different method to get to the same result. You can choose this method for more complicated fractions, algebraic fractions, or you can use the method that we saw in the previous video. It doesn't matter. This one is slightly more elegant and slightly quicker if you use it correctly. However, this one is more prone to mistakes. So if you're not sure about this one, I would recommend you use the other method we saw in the first video.